absolutely teensy, microscopic astronaut figures, playset figures, not little articulated action figures. Just plain plastic, no moving parts. Mostly vintage. And I arranged them up here in descending scale. I got this guy out. He's like a three inch MPC multiple toy makers Geiger counter guy and I decided that this series is my favorite spaceman of all time and he, he's he's oversized that's your usual sized MPC multiple toy makers Geiger counter guy there's a Rex Mars Mark's Toys Rex Mars female generic Tudor Rose miniature archer figure. Nosco Cracker Jack guy. I want one of those to paint. I love that figure. There's probably the rarest of them all, which was my own Revell Tranquility Base model kit from 19, I think I built it in 76 or 77. It's probably 77. There's a to me toys one and a half incher. There's one of the small plastic downsized space mini archer figures and a green mystery spaceship marks 30 millimeter astronaut and next to him a sort of 28 millimeter the lunar exploration miniature playset series. It's a little bit smaller even than the uh, Space Ranger and Mystery Spaceship Spaceman. They made a different mold for it. And, you know, how, do, how do they shrink them down? Do they like compress the mold? No, I don't think so. I think they have to sculpt a new figure. Anyway, anyway there's a, a gold... Uh, Buck Rogers, I think it's a role-playing game piece. And I think that's Dr. Hewer from uh, Soft Plastic. I can't remember the name of the company that makes them. You can find those. Those, are, those aren't difficult to find. And next to him, what appears to be a midget, miniature, roundabout 20... 8 millimeter, 25 millimeter, hing fat spaceman with with lunch box and wrench. He's one of my favorites. And one of my favorite spacemen in my whole collection. There, the silver guy with the wrench. And then there's a standard size golden astronaut, pistol and lunch box guy. Next to him, a painted LP toys pistol and lunch box guy that by my eyes is 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 smaller. I think I want to say the Goldens are about 30 millimeters, so he's more like a 28 millimeter. And then next to him, one of the little mini Blue Shield Apollo Capsule Party Favor and Cake Topper set. Copies of an LP toy spaceman, all of them in the pistol and the lunchbox pose. And then, oh yeah, this guy here. I, I figured he was somewhere between the, the, the size of of the painted LP and, and, and the smaller LP, but it, it just didn't want to stand him up. So they're holding on to a quarter, U.S. quarter for scale for dear life. Is an unknown model kit. I think he's a model kit. He's more than one piece. There's an Airfix astronaut. I've got a whole bag of Airfix spacemen. I haven't, I, I don't know why I never thought of, like, dude, man, you got all those Airfix spacemen. I got them for, like, $2. And then next to him, a uh, multiple toy makers golden astronaut uh, of the Geiger counter guy there at, at the beginning. They, they shrunk him down even further. And, and next to him is, I think, his date for the... Uh, for the astronauts ball that's a soma uh made in china space i think that's the space female olga looks like a looks like a cosmonaut 
women. I'm obsessed with cosmonauts. I painted this guy here with yellow stripes for his space suit because I was thinking that would make it look more like a Russian astronaut or cosmonaut. So she's our cosmonaut girl there at about 25 millimeter. Here's a giant uh, binoculars guy. I think he's he, he, he she's a little bit taller than him. She might even be bigger than now that I'm looking at it I think her head is proportionally bigger than the multiple toy makers Geiger counter guy but then there's a, a giant toys with his binoculars and then next to him Mark's Space Patrol it's a copy of a Mark's Space Patrol figure anonymously made in Hong Kong at some point during the 1960s landed it from Toy Soldier HQ not just a reference site and then next to that Galoob Micro Machines uh, astronaut, uh, you know, you gotta have a couple of, the, of, of them, I, I, I think. And I used to think about that as, as being small. Next to it is a Kinder Toy, a little Kinder Toy spaceman that came with that marvelous little lunar module set. And I wouldn't, what's he, 20 millimeters, something like that? And then next to him, We've got a multiple toy makers, golden astronaut, lunar exploration HQ playset, NPC pistol and lunchbox guy. Sorry about the focus. There at what is it, 22 millimeter? Now that I'm looking at it, the he's 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 a little bit taller than the uh, Kinder toy uh, figure. Uh, but that's that's still pretty damn tiny. Uh, let's swing a quarter over here. I think that's you know, they could make a boat out of the quarter. And then last but least, the Coretta's miniatures, Space Commando, with his uh, his little box there. Yeah. So th this would be like a, a decorative element for your dollhouse of a of a, a gift like a like a christmas gift or something or just a, a bo in a boy's room a little retro looking astronaut i wouldn't begin to guess what scale he is and, and like i was saying i went shopping for another one and i i, I came up empty all the, the places that i would know to look and, and a few that i found have it marked as sold out but I found something else. All right, we're not going to let this ruin our fun. Hmm. Well, interesting little spaceman in an Apollo suit. I did not understand that he was standing on a piece of glass. He's of the right size, you know, and uh, you know, on these planetscapes, you're gonna be standing on rocks and stuff, so there's, there's ways to work with it. We're definitely not gonna try to crack him off of there or hack him off of there, but I, I was hoping he was a little bit smaller on the range of the uh, Carruthers Space Commando, and I'm gonna have to track down another one of them. I was just wondering, did they make these? Did they make this? I was trying to see here if there's any markings on the bottom. Some sort of a maker's mark. I don't know if there's anything to see. Whoa. Is to uh, start with the golden astronaut. So he's not even as big as a golden astronaut. Let's go with an air fix astronaut. And that looks about right. I'm just trying to figure out what he's on the scale of because then I can just know. How about that? Just to know it. And it's definitely not a toy. It's it's more of a memento or uh, we used to call them touch-me-nots. That's my first touch-me-not astronaut. You put it up on the whatnot shelf and you don't touch it. It just sits there. It would have driven me crazy as a kid. I would have destroyed this thing. And just in case you've ever wondered, there's a Galoob Micro Machines astronaut next to an Airfix astronaut, and I do not know what scale. Ah, dude, help me! You see where we're going with this?
and you get a couple of pictures and it can be projected or printed and then painted over or just put them in one of them boxes and they're getting both the figure and its presentation box that, that they can have there on their whatnot shelf and not touch it ever 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 <laughs>